All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about the link between tension and the connection to you or its connection to you not being able to have uh, quality bowel movements. You know, many people think that treating constipation is just a, you know, simple procedure where you increase your fiber intake or, you know, you take some, some laxatives here and there to clear occasional constipation. There is such thing as occasional constipation, but most people who are using those laxatives are using them because they're constipated all the time. And the more you use those laxatives, ladies and gentlemen, you're just, you're running away from the problem and you shouldn't need laxatives to go to the bathroom. They serve a purpose. That's why nature, you know, grows laxative style herbs. There are a handful of different things that nature grows for us that we can use if we do eat the wrong thing and have, you know, some sluggish digestion and we can't get rid of a particular food byproduct from our system. But there are many people, and I was one of them for quite some time, who became dependent on laxatives to just be able to go to the bathroom to have a bowel movement. This is a huge problem, ladies and gentlemen, because it leads to a lot of stress because you constantly dwell on the fact that you need to, you know, intervene just to uh, get your body to work properly. You know, in, a, in an ideal state of health, you're not going to have to intervene is what I'm getting at. And you're just going to be able to process the foods you eat and excrete the waste efficiently. But we live in a world where there are so many factors, let's call them, that are affecting our health in a negative consequence, especially our digestive health. So bad foods oftentimes cause poor digestion, um, you know, bad food combining, eating at strange times, you know, we have, you know, our instincts are so altered compared to, you know, our not so distant past, so to speak, our instincts were more designed towards survival. But nowadays we can just go even at work to like, a, you know, they, there might be like a, a vending machine that has chips you might have brought food to work with you chances are there's some food around you always you constantly have the luxury of putting food into your system to be putting food into your mouth now it's a luxury you bet because it means that survival can be put on kind of a the back burner you don't have to be in that cortisol consciousness that adrenaline consciousness but Oftentimes it leads to poor decision making because when there's such an abundance of food constantly available, people end up eating it because people lack morals and people lack discipline. Because we live in a world where you were never taught that. You were taught to chase money. You were taught to uh, basically live in fear that if you didn't go to college, you wouldn't amount to anything. You were taught how to think. You were taught how to feel. You were taught how to act and you've become a good little servant for the system. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, on top of the massive amount of bullshit foods that people are eating, on top of the fact that many people are, you know, combining improper foods, eating at the wrong hours, and just, we're just violating our natural cycles, our biorhythms. We weren't designed to be eating all this food all the time from so many different sources, food flown in from Thailand, food flown, flown in from Hawaii. You know, it's just insane how much food there is nowadays. There's an overabundance, so to speak, and it causes laziness. Now, on top of this, ladies and gentlemen, there's significant amounts of stress and tension in people in this world because we live in an unnatural world. And whether you want to believe it or not, regardless of how comfortable you are with your nine to five job and all this other nonsense, on the subconscious layers of your consciousness that are suppressed, you understand on those subconscious levels that we are living in a matrix. And that causes stress that bleeds into the conscious mind which causes tension in the body. I hope that makes sense. See, deep down inside, we all know that we're living in a prison system. And when you know that you're living in a prison system, but a part of you tries to quiet it out, like put the pillow over her or his head, just keep it quiet, so to speak. That's kind of what we're doing right now. We're taking our egos and snuffing out our, our uh, intuition, so to speak. And that's how the subconscious mind or the deeper layers of our consciousness, let's put it that way, try to communicate with us through instinct through uh, intuition, excuse me. <sighs> so we know that we're living in this crazy system, but we go along with it and we adopt all the stress from it. Um, 
deep down inside we know that we're living in a fake world and that alone causes stress. Now I'm kind of going off on a few different subjects. I want to get back on point, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm trying to, as I make this video, uh, chisel away some of the unnecessary words and make what I'm trying to say make more sense. But what I'm truly trying to get at is that we're stressed. We eat all the wrong foods. We have tons of different obligations. We have all sorts of bullshit going on. We're being sprayed with the aerosols through the stratospheric aerosol injection programs under uh, solar radiation management, MRSRM. This is a real government program. It's been completely, you know, they, they came out and said that it was uh, a conspiracy for years and then all of a sudden somewhat recently they just came out and said yeah we're doing it we're combating global warming shut your mouth go to sleep there's a lot of craziness going on ladies and gentlemen and the stress is truly in my opinion the cause of genuine constipation a genuine sluggish bowel system a genuinely sluggish bowel system excuse me is oftentimes based on deep layers of stress now, this is just a personal opinion and many medical doctors and even naturopathic physicians, you name it, would probably disagree with me because most people think that food is what causes constipation. However, on a deeper level, when you have stress, ladies and gentlemen, when you have worry, when you have guilt, when you're not happy with yourself, when you don't have self-love, and these are all a byproduct of living an unnatural lifestyle here in hell, the system wants you to be broken. When you have all of this emotional stress, it leads to physical tension and it causes the organs to become tense. It causes the intestines to become tense. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, your mind and your emotional state can cause your innards to become tight, can cause your innards to not work properly. You see, everything's connected. You were taught at a young age that your mind and your body really aren't, you know, one and the same. I mean, that's not necessarily true. We choose not to teach a more holistic approach in Western education is what I'm getting at. Um, especially within like Western medicine and allopathic medicine, they really lack the spiritual, um, not necessarily spiritual, they just choose not to see the holistic body. They choose not to see how the mind and the body are intimately connected. And that's a huge problem because when you're constantly dwelling on things, when you're constantly depressed, when you constantly have issues, when you constantly have worry, when you're constantly fretting about the bills and all this other stuff, it leads to your organs reacting to that stress, ladies and gentlemen, whether you want to believe that or not, stress is not just something that's physical or um, excuse me, stress is not just something that's mental, that's emotional. This body is the clay of the mind. And when you have tension, when you have stress, when you have worry, when you have guilt, when you have doubt, disbelief, and a lack of self-love, you affect your entire system. You affect your liver primarily and your digestive system. In my opinion, you affect your gut. So many people who have constipation problems could massively start to regain the power and vitality of their digestive system by learning to truly and deeply relax. And I'm not gonna get into the how to do that in this video, that's something that I'm gonna talk about in the near future. I just wanted to give this information out because I think it's important that people look at this from a different angle. And the angle that you're being taught, even in most herbalists will say, oh, constipation, you use things like Senna, uh, and you can use, a, it's primarily Senna. Senna is an herb, uh, it comes in pods and it's a, a very common herb that's used as a purgative herb. Purgative herbs help us purge things. Uh, it's a laxative herb. Laxatives help us go to the bathroom when our bowels are sluggish, but you have to ask yourself, why are your bowels sluggish? It's not like you take the senna and you're just magically healed, your digestion's back on track. Now, there are certain cases where people don't have a lot of stress and they have optimal digestion and they eat the wrong food and they do get plugged up and they need some type of irrigation. They need some type of herbal plumbing. And that's where Senna and things like that could come in hand, but or come in useful. But if you have frequent constipation, there's probably a deeper uh, cause to it than just the food you're eating, ladies and gentlemen. Food is definitely a part of it. Um, you know, you can start to attempt to treat constipation by eating real foods. If you have severe constipation issues, I would recommend eating a lot of fruit, especially mono meal fruits, just eating a meal of like bananas by itself, uh, eating grapes by itself, apricots. That's what mono meals are. It's when you eat a food by itself. Fruit 
the fibers, the sugars, they're very easily digested. I don't always recommend that people use fruit. I think that it can be very valuable, however, in certain situations, uh, such as constipation. But oftentimes people, even when they start eating healthier, they still have the constipation. And a lot of the people, and I've worked with many people over the years, ladies and gentlemen, the people who have the worst forms of constipation seem to be the most stressed. Now, there are certain interventions that we can use to begin to relax the mind, the body, the muscle system, and the internal organs. And I'm going to talk about that in the near future. But I think we're looking at this thing entirely wrong here in the West. Food definitely, don't get me wrong, food definitely has a huge, uh, you know, contributing role into constipation. But the body's designed to be able to digest foods easily. Um, even foods that are kind of questionable, your body should be able to handle them. Um, that's not me recommending that you eat junk food. Absolutely not. But there's a huge problem if you have to constantly use, you know, laxatives or if you constantly, you know. Thank you for watching. I hope that my channel and my messages, my passion, you name it, can inspire you today to take better care of your health. There's nothing more important than taking daily steps towards greater health. Health impacts every part of your life, ladies and gentlemen. Physical, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, you name it. It addresses every part of our lives. Health is indeed the divine foundation that we need to have so that we can achieve the life that we want. This is Lord Ganesh, the remover of obstacles. And I hope that the obstacles in your life, if you have them, can clear and that you can attain your heart's desire. I do indeed hope that we can achieve a greater state of being here in this world. We weren't designed to have to deal with all this insanity here in this world. And I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that if we take greater steps towards our health and we envision a greater world, we can get closer to achieving that. So I just wanted to wrap this one up with a thank you. And until next time, peace be with you all.